Guys, I kind of have a big announcement to tell you. Here we go. We're gonna go to the party, so we gotta get lit. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're currently at Universal Studios. Universal invited us out for a fun day. I have no idea what they have planned for us. You're probably wondering, Kevin, why are you wearing a hat? It's totally not to cover up the haircut from last week. This is Hoss, the human hairball, and we're accepting donations. Anything, right? Surprise me, yep. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. I have no idea what's going on right now. Huh? Ew. Oh, no. What? Yeah, it, it straight up looks like I'm from like New Kids on the Block or something. It's straight out of like the 90s. Uh, it's growing in. It'll be there eventually. I think Allison is growing to love it. No, she's not. Let's go have fun today. All right, we checked in. We got our goodie bag. Out with the baseball cap, in with the Grinch. You know what looks like a fish? Like a bass trying to eat your head? They're walking into the VIP area. I want to know how much it costs to get uh, your photo on this one. Now, we were in before everyone else. They also gave us these wonderful lights. So Brent doesn't normally dress up like that, but I think after the whole Hollywood Boulevard incident. I don't mess with. I don't mess with. I don't, I don't mess, mess with. It was a pretty cool shot. The group of us walking in first. Uh, the first thing we're doing of today is entering into the wonderful tribute store. Now, have you ever noticed it's just kind of like a Greek god or something holding this clock right above the tribute store? Hey, uh, we got a poster, the tribute store, some of the concept art. All right, we're entering in right now. They have tiny diamond plushes, but they don't have any guy diamond plushes. I wonder why. Now we did a rundown of these Easter eggs, but I wonder, is back here, is this Hagrid's cottage? Is that what that's supposed to be? Uh, I found another little Easter egg in here. If you look in the back, eggs back there, if you see. So I wonder if those are supposed to be from like Jurassic Park, like the raptor eggs. To and what is the turnaround process like going from Halloween Horror Nights to then like a couple weeks later, putting in the holiday tribute store? Okay. Pause it real quick. You're probably confused on who this guy is. He's part of the Universal Creative Team. What Universal did for us first thing in the morning, they took us to the Tribute Store and we got to meet the team members and the creative team behind every single Tribute Store ever made. Yeah, I was super excited. Okay, now back to the video. Enjoy. You set it up beforehand in another room to see if it fits. Uh, there's a lot of planning all throughout the year. And then once the HHN tribute store closes, yeah. we're in here yeah. taking that yeah. out yeah. and then coming in and moving yeah. stuff in. What was it like taking Earl the Squirrel from just kind of a little niche joke within Universal to now being like the mascot? How did that meeting go to be like, we're going to turn Earl the Squirrel into the face uh, of the holidays? I mean, Phil, do you know more about Earl the Squirrel on that? Like how he went from just being, you know, that little character and all of a sudden now he's becoming a winter mascot. Scott. Yeah. Uh, I think we just saw an open opportunity and just went for it. Uh, it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> hey, that's pretty awesome. It seems like fans like them. Yeah. Let's throw them into a store. And so you add in a lot of Easter eggs for the annual pass holders, but do you add in Easter eggs for the creative team that only you guys get, like little jokes? Uh, I mean, there's little, little, little things like our initials are in the blocks. Oh. Like Phil, I just want to thank you for your Easter of egg of the DeLorean. No I heard yeah. that was what you were in charge yeah, of. Yeah, that actually, I'm slowing it down right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, so. We don't want it to time jump. That's, uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that to do that. It was peaking at like 75, 80. We don't want it to get up to yeah. 88. That'd be a bad idea. So, Kevin, I heard you were in charge of all the graphic art and everything. Yes, a lot of the posters and stuff in here. What was that like having fun with Earl the Squirrel? I mean, it writes itself, right? Yeah. You get to just go crazy with whatever you want, like making up little bits of lore and information. <laughs> so, it was the tree farm last year. Here, uh -huh. it's his little museum of curiosities. Yes. So, is he going to keep evolving his that'll, business? That'll see in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know yet. Oh, we'll find out. All right, so this is brand new. I didn't notice this. You can make custom phone cases for Earl the squirrel you can get magnets and even metal wall signs and they have custom ornaments where you can put your family name on it i have a brand new shirt for the holidays universal holiday parade featuring macy's it's got like the retro logo look you got santa you got a christmas tree and one of the nutcrackers and you're looking at uh 28 for one of these then they have kind of a the same design that's on the shirt but it's got a santa ornament now there's a sign that i saw last week visit the world famous five foot tall squirrel and it wasn't in here so i was like oh, maybe it's just a joke but they've added it they have added Added a giant squirrel here. He is the biggest squirrel I've ever seen. Oh my god, <laughs> look where they put the nuts on the squirrel. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's gonna pick up on that, but uh, they, they put nuts right there. So let's take a second to appreciate this sign. Um, it's for broken mini lights. It's Earl Surplus Annual Holiday Sales Travaganza. As you can see, there's just Christmas lights that are broken. So tacky and so good. Now, they have, again, Earl at the top being electrocuted, but when the sound comes on, it really sounds like a proton pack from Ghostbusters. That's a lot of the posters and stuff. Switch me on. That's a lot of the posters and stuff. Andrew from the creative team told me they put a shell squirrel up there in the corner. So look for that. 
And of course we gotta stop by and say hello to this guy. I think it's crazy. You'll come and take a selfie with my caricature and tag me, which is insane that you guys do that. So thank you all for coming and visiting my little caricature. Okay, I haven't seen these. These are just magnets, right? But they don't have proper choices. You got, you got Z's, you got Y's, you got V's and you got U's and Q's. If I was playing Wheel of Fortune, I would have a really tough time. They have this little Grinch keychain. He almost looks like a little booger for some reason. All right, we're in the final room right now. This made me laugh. There's all these Hermione's and then just this little Dobby in the center. It looks so odd. At first I was like, oh my God, did they just like rip off Hermione's hair and clothes? But it's a little Dobby right there because the face looks pretty similar. Now we're exiting. I've never noticed this, but why is there Icicles that are blue and purple. This is like ectoplasm. Oh, Alright, yeah. so this is the entire creative team. The people behind the magic that make the tribute store. Now, as you can see, they've added a little hat to Earl the Squirrel. Last year they had a mask on him. I love that they kind of like put outfits on him. Alright, it's time for the U-Log Brownie. $10 for this. I don't, we'll see. Let's cut into it. Oh. Mmm. They're not too much brownie. There's a lot of this like cookies and cream frosting or icing, which is incredible. It's so good. But the brownie's just kind of all right. The frosting and the dark chocolate outside layer is great. Surprisingly good. It's like a cookies and cream brownie. I just wish there was a little more brownie in there. But I think we'll do like 8.5 on it. Really good. The cookies and cream frosting is ooh, banging in there. It's so good. All right, so we just finished our first little part of uh, talking to the creative team. I, I was nerdy out the entire time, right? Because I've always wanted to pick their mind. Like, there's so much that I didn't feel like. I talked to them for what, like 45 minutes. So much fun. I don't think we got like all their autographs and everything. And it was so much fun to talk to them because I've always wanted to do that, right? It's talking to them about like the history and like the process of how they find the props and what they've worked on and like that was <laughs> so much fun. Sorry, I'm nerdy now. I'm just a big universal nerd, so I enjoyed every single minute of that. So they also gave us express passes for the day. So what's the first thing that we're gonna do? Men in black. Oh no, we gotta we gotta visit the family, man. All right, so the ride has reopened from the refurb. We're gonna see what they've added. I think they're just kind of working on stuff in the queue, but uh, let's go visit the family. I just asked the team members what they fixed for the refurb. Um, apparently they only fixed the screen. They just like put a new screen in. So I'm coming to check to see about the family table. They did some weeding. Okay. Okay, so this, this looks a lot better. They did do a refurb on this. Um, remember it was decrepit. Every, the chairs are falling apart. The Corona bottles are still missing though, but the family table looks good. You know, I think they'll probably put the Corona out for Thanksgiving coming up. Family forever. I'm thinking about doing this for my birthday this year. I'll be turning 27 in May. So I'm thinking about riding Fast and the Furious 27 times on my birthday. I feel like that'd be a fun video. Oh, back in the family room right now. Now I've been informed you guys have all been invited to a party. Woo! Yeah, there you go, let him clap. Four of you are happy. The rest of you are like me, taking a nap. You're going to a party. Woo! Uh, much better, much better. The caffeine is slowly kicking in. Say hello. Hey everybody, I'm Mia. My brother calls this the family room. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. And the faces you see on these walls are our family. Uh, Mia, wait. Where's my face? Room. Where's room my face? Welcome to our family. Hey Tej, just welcoming these good people to our family. I assistant, uh, intern, whatever you want to call me. I don't know how a lot of the stuff in here works. I'm too scared to touch half of it. Uh, you saw me working back here. I wasn't. I was just clicking letters and hoping for the best, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, you guys are the party people, right? Yeah. 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 On a Monday morning. Here we go. We're gonna go to the party, so we gotta get lit. <laughs> We just uh, finished Fast and Furious. Uh, it's a little different. Screens look a little more clear, but there's water effects that I don't remember and we are drenched. It literally felt like I was on a water ride because it's just shooting water at us. Brent's jacket is... <laughs> 
As you know, I love updating everyone on Fast and the Furious merch. We got something new here I've never noticed before. They're all like denim shorts, but they have pockets. If you're in the mood for some of these, you can get some for uh, $40. It just says man. All right, it looks like Duffman is back. He, he was missing for a while. They probably just did a little repaint on him. Now, Chief Wiggum was also missing, and he's back. Yeah, it looks like they did a fresh little paint job on him. Uh, that your coffee looks a little watered down there, buddy. All right, we just popped into the gift shop. They have a bunch of Ghostbusters merch now for the new Ghostbusters. They have a, a Ghostbusters, what is this, a Marshmallow Blaster? Then you got the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. We're going to push down on his head. Oh, oh, and now he's pissed off. Happy. Pissed off. Jared most of the time. Jared when he's angry. All right, what do they have here? Oh, oh no, oh no. So they have a, like a tumbler of all the mini puffs. Oh, look at them. Little evil maniacal guys. All right, so they have the highly detailed figures here. These have been selling out. It's the classic version of them. Now you can build one of the tear dogs. Each figure gives you a little part. So when you combine them all together, they make one of the tear dogs. What is this? I don't know. That's just... It makes noises. Is this a little baby muncher? <laughs> He looks like a little tick or something. And then over here is a little terror dog. These are really cute little keychains. Yeah, I, I like the muncher. Yeah, they have the whole set here, which is very hard to find now. And then they have this other one. I love the kind of like holographic finish. It says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. What is this? Here's a little Stay Puff. A ghost crusher? It's a ghost crusher. I guess it's just kind of like a, a smushy ghost. You get a little muncher in there. They have a shirt for a, who you gonna call? Oh, and they got the new figures too. They're totally not older. They're not in the new movie, I promise. No, but um, they have the older version of all the characters. Now these figures are $42 each, which is a little pricey. But they got some new Jaws merch. I like this. Wicked Shark 75, Amity Island, Massachusetts. This is a nice like retro one. I like these, man. What's up, chums? Now, I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. If you haven't seen the new movie, go see it. It's very good. There's enough new stuff with enough throwback stuff to please over any fan. A lot better than the god awful 2016 Ghostbusters. Go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. I love when Universal does little Easter eggs like this, right? So this used to be the entrance to the Ghostbusters attraction right here. It's like the firehouse and everything. So if you look over here, as a little nod to it, on the wreath here, they added little marshmallows for the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and they added some ectoplasm from Slimer. And next is my favorite ride here at Universal Studios, E.T. Adventure. One day, Steven will come back. I miss that pre-show so much. I think that's when the world has officially healed, is when the E.T. pre-show returns. Comes, here he comes. Oh! Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Whoa! So I'm going to cut right to the chase. E.T. needs your help. Here's the scarecrow from the uh, scarecrow stock from the mummy. <laughs> Where is it going? I think it's going to the prop shop right now. His head has seen better days. Yeah, they are putting all of them for sale. Here's the Jimmy Fallon one. And then they have the secret agent one that was in a uh, five and dime. Now they have the scarecrow that was on, in the Marvel store where he was like reading the comic that were the Horn Knights houses. And it's pretty cheap. Only seven fifty. Now uh, here is uh, Reggie the mummy. You can uh, buy him. They don't have a price tag about on him yet, but uh, you know that cup of coffee is priceless. Now in typical Florida fashion, uh, we went here. There's a fifteen percent chance of rain, and now there's just giant waves of rain coming. It's just gonna pour for like kind of the rest of the afternoon. So we're soaked. We're gonna go into the movie theater here. I haven't seen the Eternals yet. The great thing about the movie theater here is it's a great movie theater, great seats. But if you're an annual pass holder, tickets are only $8. Now this theater is massive. This, uh, <laughs> this is Allison's reaction to seeing my uh, haircut for the first time. Uh. Okay, um, we just finished Eternals. As you know, I love Marvel movies. Best way to describe it. Okay, it has, it has more flashbacks than an episode of Lost. I feel like there's a good movie within the movie, but it's just not good. Any of the emotional scenes, I didn't care about them. I don't really care about, truly, I didn't any of the characters at all. I don't remember any of their names. These, like, superheroes, and they're, um, like a giant sunburned iron giant. Giant, and they're fighting CGI like spaghetti monsters and, and it just all fell flat for me I never want to watch the movie ever again. Uh, the cameo at the end is good. Five out of ten just did not do anything for me whatsoever and I never want to watch it ever again. If you've seen Eternals please let me know what were your thoughts about it. Okay the other thing 
Uh, they bring up Superman as a this whole big joke, which I didn't like. I don't like Marvel Cinematic Universe talking about the DC Universe with Superman. That just like threw me through a loop. So now it's time to return back to our VIP group. It's like uh, five o'clock now. Now I have no idea what they have in store for us, so. Okay, don't hate me, it's part one. Part two will be dropping very soon, I promise. Uh, Universal had a bunch of other things planned for us, but uh, we we have an office? Yeah, crazy that I kind of have like a little uh, setup now. Let me uh, show you what we got, guys. All right, there you guys go. All right, so I tried to put objects on the wall from like the videos and like inside jokes from the videos. So this is what we got. This is the full rundown. All right, now I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters. So like, this is like the movie section, right? So we, these are San Diego Comic-Con 2014 exclusives. Giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Over here, we got a, we all remember what happened to the child. Yes, Jared got me this for Christmas one year. Dominic Toretta right there, which matches perfectly with this sign. Yes, I did have this custom made. Join the family. So if you haven't subscribed already, if you want to stay up to date on all things Theme Park and Universal, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Uh, up here we have the Studio Screamers from Halloween Horror Nights. Yes, I am missing Jack. If any of you guys have a Jack, let me know. One of you guys actually made this. Uh, Seagull, stop it now. If you remember the bad lip reading video that we would always quote. Thank you so much for that. We have the coconut because coconuts are mammals, if you remember that. Mickey, because I used to work Fantasmic. We got Dabby and Squidward from when I interviewed Roger Bumbass. I love Disneyland. Land, so we got Walt and the Disneyland Castle. Up here we have the Shaman because you know Chris is the little Shamanator. Forky because you know we're all trash. Then we have this custom made pop that Allison made for me if you remember. I think over time you know we'll we'll add to the wall from stuff that we pick up throughout the videos and this is gonna be kind of like the work desk so you have Jose from the Tiki Room, Indiana Jones, Gizmo. If you haven't seen when I get this yet, that's a good upcoming video. So I hope you guys enjoy that new little office wall. It's gonna be kind of a change of scenery. Let me know down in the comments, what do you want me to add to the wall? And what do you think about it? I wanna give a huge shout out to Universal for having us out. Universal does these things all the time for like content creators. They just kind of like invite you out to see cool things and just have a good day. Universal does a great job of, I feel like respecting the content creators and valuing them. Other theme parks don't really do that. I gotta get back to editing. I love you all, please stay safe. And I will see you all on Thursday. Bye. Hey, Have you ever noticed the little ET right there and his heart lights up also? <laughs>